Welcome back to the Fair Sports Update. Joined now by head coach of Fair State Men's Basketball. Uh, two wins richer after the break. Uh, Andy Bronkema and coach, uh, first of all, congratulations on a solid Thanksgiving break and welcome to the show. I appreciate having me and uh, it was nice. It's nice to host the first ever Thanksgiving Classic here, you know, at Ferris and we want to make that a, you know, tr a tradition. You know, looking forward to next year's tournament and what it does, it gives our guys some time off with their families, you know, so we're not playing on that Saturday, rushing back. You know, we usually give them Wednesday, you know, bring them back Thursday night, run off the turkey, and then play it on Saturday. So it's, if, if we can host this tournament on, on Tuesday, Wednesday, make it a tradition, you know, so, you know secure some sponsors um, and just something for people to look forward to and then send the guys home for Thanksgiving, it's, it's, uh, it's a healthier deal. So we're glad we did it this year and came out with two victories, like you said. So uh, went into Thanksgiving break with some family time, feeling good. Most importantly, we uh, start to look at the highlights here, and you get two very different things out of these two games. Game one, uh, an opportunity to get a lot of different guys in, a lot of different guys made shots. That was, that's important, obviously, in your own gym. And then the second game, an important regional game against a good Ashland team as well. So it seemed like you accomplished uh, about as much as you could with one holiday tournament. Yeah, so, you know, the two of the teams in the tournament were, were just, uh, you know, lower division teams, but respectively in, in their divisions, very, very competitive. So Ashland and, and us in the in the first round of this tournament, first day of the tournament, you know, had decisive victories, but when they matched up against each other, it was a really close game and, you know, great, specifically Great Lakes and, you know, East West too, but Great Lakes, you know, they're national championship level for their division and uh, their set of scholarship rules and, and compliance rules. And, uh, you know, we've, that division has beaten plenty of GLIAC teams over the years, in, including Ferris. So um, they prevent, present challenges they press, you know, a lot of guys can shoot, um, you know, they pressure the ball. So it wasn't like we just coasted through this one. I, I thought our guys had really good discipline and, uh, you know, shared the ball and, and won this game the right way. So I, I was really proud of that. As many key guys as you have back, you've got two or three guys in the rotation this year that are, that are new playing high minute roles. How important is it just to get these guys kind of acclimated with each other and, and you can you can mix and match your lives a little bit, get everybody playing with everybody, just, just to be able to get some of that chemistry going in live game action. Yeah, it's, it's important. I mean, we have one starter back, you know, some bench players. But you know, like I said last year, we, you know, when these guys came off the bench and produced something here or there, it was kind of like a bonus. It was, you know, it's cute. But now it's like if they don't play well, we don't, win, we don't win or have a chance to win. So very new roles for a lot of guys. And even our transfers who have a little bit more experience and aren't that young. Um, experience wise they are in our system so we'll, we'll continue to grow the, the the biggest thing is just their willingness to listen and you know to a, attempt to do what we're asking them to do so that's a great sign and uh, we really see a lot more things in practice than even are translating to the games right now so with that being said I think we have a, a chance to improve 11 different guys uh, scoring in that first game then you get Ashland here a team that uh, you know I think we both feel it's a pretty darn good team that you get to play early in the season. And you played a lot of good teams already this season, mm -hmm. but how important is it just to get one of those on your own floor as well? Because there's going to be times late in the season where you're going to see really good teams in this gym. Yeah, I, I just like playing Ashland because, you know, they do things the right way and they're, they're really good. And uh, we've traded wins and losses over the years. And uh, it's just fun to play in these games. But um, I didn't think a couple players played their best in this game. I thought we found a way to win. So. That was kind of the, the, the key for me is that, um, you know, we had a couple of guys that were just kind of grinding through it and uh, trying to impact the game however they could, but didn't play maybe to their potential. And, and yet we found a way to win. And uh, good teams can do that. So, um, you know, Ashland's just a powerful team. They're, they're very physical. Post players played well. And uh, they, they have a couple of guys out too. I think they get a couple more guys healthy they're going to be even more dangerous. So, um, you know, it's great to be at home. You mentioned that, but that, that was the point of the Thanksgiving tournament. So we want to keep that rolling. You guys uh, get a little support here from the new uh, NCAA football sack king and Caleb Murphy down there in the end zone. I'm sure you guys are pretty excited just, just to have a few football guys that are here on the Thanksgiving break when the students are gone uh, to be able to, to pump you guys up a bit. Yeah, well, we love those guys. And, uh, you know, right, right now just being part of the department is just, it's a, it's a real blessing, you know, it's Thanksgiving season, so you, you really dial in the things that you're thankful for, the things that have been, you know, given to you. And right now with 
with Coach Anise and um, you know and, and Greg's teams making these these runs. I mean, it's it's unbelievable, and uh, you know to have a team in the Elite Eight and Final Four um, of their respective tournaments, and then you know Tia to the Sweet 16. It's just it's just been awesome. So to have their support to show up is great, but you know we're supporting them too, and just to be part of the department and sharing the excitement and. And I, I always have a little bit of perspective when I say, you look back at these times and just, just remember, you know, the great runs and the, the players and, you know, there's a lot that goes into it. I mean, Greg's in my hallway in the office and, I mean, I, he's, he's always in there working and scheming and talking and thinking and adjusting and he's just an impressive coach and uh, along with a lot of other coaches that we have, but I'm, th I'm thankful you know, to be a coach here at Ferris State and to witness these runs and just really be a fan. Um, my brother and my dad and I got to do the chain gang for the football game and just just to be around this environment and the things that you think maybe you contributed a little bit to creating, it's, it's, it's nice. How does it maybe, um, I guess, inspire athletes knowing or maybe challenge them knowing that all around them it's all winning all the time and just maybe does it challenge them to be all right we don't want to be the one team that's just a step below them I don't know I mean you know a negative it has a negative connotation there a little bit so we, it, it does motivate but at the same time it's like we we want to do what winners do and um, do the next right thing and that's really what we're teaching them in, in, in life so the fact that there's a winning culture here at Ferris State um, that's what's attracting the athletes to come here. And whether we win or lose, if we do the things that give us a chance to win, we're really instilling that in the athletes. And, you know, they go, they go on and take that with them. So it's produced a lot of wins because um, there still is a scoreboard and people pay attention to that. Um, and, and so do I. But um, that's kind of how you look at it. And uh, I, I think it just keeps the expectations high, which is a great thing. Well, Coach, uh, first of all, congratulations on the wins and good luck in conference plays. It opens this week. All right, thanks. thanks. Gleak play opens this week for Fair State men's and women's basketball. When we come back, we're talking to Fair State women's basketball head coach Kurt Westendorf from the Fair Sports Update.